Okay, this is a video uh, to show Blackwater engines, the obvious head gasket leak on my brand new uh, remanufactured long block that I bought from you guys. Um, it doesn't take any kind of mechanical expert and the Ford Technical Service Bulletin um, is very clear about testing for blown head gaskets. What you're looking at is a pressure gauge hooked into my cooling system. Um, engine had just come up to operating temperature um, at idle. Uh, most of the time around around the town uh, driving, that gauge will actually be right up around 14-15 psi, uh, which is way too high for a 6.0 liter. In fact, the degas cap releases at 16 psi. Um, the only thing that should increase pressure in the cooling system is uh, temperature. Um, under no circumstances should you get any kind of response to throttle or uh, engine RPM. But if I step on the throttle here... I mean, that's, that's about as bad as it gets. And, uh, the truck is stock. It's got stock uh, tuning. I don't own a tuner. I never have tuned and I never will tune the truck. All I need is a truck and an engine that I can depend on. I use this truck for what it was designed to be used for. Um, do highway driving, pulling trailers, going from job to job. And I need a truck I can de depend on. And uh, I've got a engine that's worse than the one I took out. My old long block would only show symptoms if I was pulling a trailer up a hill. Uh, this one, forget pulling a trailer altogether. Um, I'm pretty much worse off than I was and $8,000 in the hole because of uh, this quality engine that I bought from you guys. Um, the pressure is actually so bad, in fact, that it has blown a pinhole in not only my degas bottle, but my radiator is now leaking a little bit. I've replaced uh, two thermostat O-rings already. Um, my, one of my heater hose is blowing pressure. Um, there's just so much pressure there that it's blowing. It's uh, releasing pressure wherever it can. And uh, that's not to... Uh, not to mention the horrible uh, blow-by that I'm getting, which uh, you should never get on a new long block in which only engines with hundreds of thousands of miles develop. Um, and uh, significant clicking and knocking that I can't hear on uh, any other 6.0. But I'll go ahead and show you uh, these symptoms here. There's a pinhole in my degas bottle dripping down onto the hose there. The seam is leaking. That's a uh, third uh, thermostat O-ring. It's a nice lovely leak at the seam on my uh, radiator. You hear that nice uh, clicking sound? The blow by actually uh, doesn't show up very well. I am uh, getting positive crankcase pressure. And it varies based on uh, ambient temperature. Um, it 
gets worse if I've been uh, driving around for a long time. not be getting that kind of pressure unless there's a problem with the cylinder honing or the rings. The knocking doesn't show up very well because my uh, camera has noise cancellation. It's really bad if I'm uh, loaded in any way at all and pulling any kind of hill. Just idling, you can't really hear it, but if you go up any kind of grade or hill, um, it's, it's bad. It sounds like someone's in there with a hammer knocking on something. You can definitely hear that shit slapping around. Um, so anyway, this is uh, my quality uh, Blackwater remanufactured long block and uh, I don't know what I'm going to have to do to get this resolved but it's uh, turning out to be the most expensive and most uh, probably the worst decision I've ever made to choose uh, Blackwater over your competitors.